This video goes out today for a friend of mine who's in my thoughts and very much deeply in my heart. She has some incredible values and one of the things I, I love about her is her, her stoicism, her ability to go on in the face of extraordinary challenges and not just go on, but to find a way to still experience joy to be present in the moment, to share love with those she loves, and to laugh and to have a, an experience of lightness, even though really she could have, had she chosen, to carry nothing but weight on her shoulders. We often talked about the challenges that we faced in life, and she would say to me, you know, I don't know how um, you, you put up with that. I don't know how you have even managed those circumstances. But the remarkable thing is I always thought the same thing about her. She was a, a mirror and an inspiration for me in that regard. So when I think about one of the things I love about her the most, I guess it's, it's how adaptable she is. We come from a different world, let's say, many differences superficially. And yet I found that no matter what I told her, and this was most extraordinary, if it shocked her, she never really showed it. We always found something to laugh about. And she adapted to whatever was presented to her. She would wrap her head around it and her heart always ready to go out and to see the bigger picture. So despite whatever was presenting as a superficial difference, it, it wasn't what she focused on. She helped me to get through some very, very difficult times. And she had phrases that I still use to this day. Um, one of them was, there's nothing meant, nothing for it, but to get on with it. And um, I guess that was her way of embodying that stoic philosophy of it's in front of you, so deal with it. And she had this way um, of embodying the horizontal and the vertical as one of my other friends would describe it so on the ground she got on with life and she tried to do the right thing and to be kind and to be honest and yet also she had a connection to something much more I don't know that I could describe that faith I don't think I'm going to try but it was very apparent that she held it and right now I suppose what I'm thinking about is this time of transition for all of us. I feel this cold um, or dark wintry time is for sure a time that we can appreciate ourselves, go inward and look to where we are and where we're going and to be very present to what is rising up in this moment. So for me, I see transition. I see strongly that there is change and I may want to retreat from that. There may be a part of me that wants to cling to the familiar. But I hear her um, very much in my head and I hear her saying, what's meant for you won't go by you. And so I know that the life I want to create is the life that doesn't perpetuate fear and have me locked into a program that doesn't really bear any resemblance to what lies in my heart. And so I release that to the best of my ability on a day-to-day -day basis. I bring awareness to that and I release it. And I, I do this for me, most of all. And I hope that you will be able to do the same for you. So for my friend who's taught me about family, about unconditional love, about adaptability and real presence, and I've had some of the most fantastic times. I send you all my love. I send her my love most of all. And I wish you very well in these introspective, quieter days. <laughs>